two counters at and a big complete punch against trying to get inside the range of Jesse Arnett. And when Jesse Arnett comes up to his full height, you see how tall he is. And then there's another punch from Cabasat. And you see a big punch landed by Cabasat, but Arnett able to spin through and recover quickly. And uh, good work by our official watching to make sure that Jesse Arnett was uh, still there. And uh, now he's defending here from the bottom. That instinct to action from Jesse Arnett from his days as a wrestler to come forward and grab on. We've seen a couple fighters uh, survive uh, potentially knockout punches. By doing that, they land and very quickly shoot forward just on instinct. And Jesse Arnett, with years and years and years as a high-level wrestler, did exactly that. Well, and there is no striking in wrestling, but as any good wrestler can tell you, there's a lot of punching that goes on and a lot of headbutts that go on. So sometimes you get your bell rung when you're wrestling and you just keep on going. You don't want to lose. Sue Campusat now with the back of Jesse Arnett. High-level jujitsu for Campusat here as he tries to find a choke hold on Jesse Arnett. Jesse might be in trouble here. Jeremy Campasat landing punches to the side, softening him up, trying to find the rear naked choke. Jesse Arnett looking up. He's the, the referee calling for him to defend. This fight might be over soon if Arnett doesn't do something here as the official right on top of it asking Arnett if he's okay and uh, warning Sue Campus out of punches to the back of the head. I think that's what Jesse Arnett was screaming up to him. He's saying, hey, he's punching me in the back of the head. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's patience that, that's being shown here, and uh, Arnett's trying to get out of this position. It's very dangerous with Sue Campasat with his ability in jiu-jitsu, and you see that hand slowly going over the chin. Now Arnett coming free, trying to get free from this position, but Campasat all over Jesse Arnett. Yeah, the hooks are in, and he's not letting them go anywhere. And Jesse Arnett trying to find a window, but unable to do so so far. Sue Campus at a very good jujitsu game. Once this fight got to the ground, he swarmed Jesse Arnett, took his back very quickly, and has been working for the choke ever since, and has been landing punches as well. A very effective opening couple minutes here for Sue Campus at. Jesse Arnett has to be very patient here. He cannot risk giving up this arm going underneath the chin, and you can see the chin down now. Arnett attacking the hands with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the round. But you'll see that Sue Campasat will take his hands back and try and land punches and have the punches slip into this rear naked choke position. But right now with Arnett with his chin down, he's trying to come through, but Campasat again just can, will not leave the back of Jesse Arnett. No, again, those, those hooks in. Uh, the two legs uh, between the legs of Arnett, keeping him there, holding him there, not allowing him to go anywhere. And like you said, Jeremy, landing punches to try and soften him up. Arnett doing a decent job of defending, but not so, uh, but so far, Campasat just uh, doing everything he can to hold on and try and find that position. Still trying to work in that rear naked choke, but again, credit to Campasat for being patient as well and not squeezing out his arms. Now he's attacked a hand and this has been a good, what's called a ride in jiu-jitsu. This has been a good ride here by Sue Campasat, trying to keep him down, but a little less dangerous now as the hooks are out. And just, of course, as I say that, the hook slips right back in. Sue Campasat on top of Jesse Arnett. Arnett having a much tougher time in this fight than he had in his last fight, which, of course, you can see on the Hard Knocks fighting app available in the Apple Store. But Campasat trying to do everything he can to, to find the chokehold. I mean, credit Jesse Arnett's defense so far. Uh, Campusat's had his back for three minutes so far, and, and he's got to be a little frustrated here that he hasn't been able to find it. Now Arnett able to pop out and, and get into a more traditional guard position. And in the butterfly guard, now switching to a traditional guard, and that is excellent jujitsu by Jesse Arnett. And being able to continue and have the continuity to end up back in this position. Jesse Arnett now trying to find his way out. The round likely belongs to Campasat, but he can change the judges' minds a little bit here at the end. He squirts out, survives a long submission attempt. Almost found a head kick there, Jeremy, as Campasat went to avoid the fist. Oh, a flying knee into the face of Sue Campasat from Jesse Arnett up against the cage. And Sue Campasat is just avoiding the punches of Jesse Arnett and now the flying knees but sticking in this corner and Arnett throwing bombs. He's trying to end this fight before the end of the round. Short time remaining, that is it. 
and Arnett unable to finish the round. But what a fantastic finish to the round from Jesse Arnett here. Sue Kampasat dominated most of it, but Arnett held on. The final 30 seconds, Jesse Arnett flew out across the cage and tried to end the fight. It's almost like he said, okay, you had your turn, now it's my turn. And again, we have yet to see a takedown attempt from this national level wrestler. And uh, you see him pushing Campasat up against the cage, but you hope that he doesn't fall victim to the thing that Curtis Demars did, in which he comes forward and is caught by Campasat. A big flying knee again from Jesse Arnett. Going to the well for a third time. And now he's got Campasat down on the ground. He's on top. Jeremy, if I'm Jesse Arnett, I'm standing right back up. Well, it's the length at this position, the length that Arnett has. He can be in a full guard and still strike to the head. And he does, and he can strike with power. It's when a fighter is shorter that he has to be able to posture up, has to get past that. Arnett doesn't have that issue. Won his last fight with a Darsh choke. The first one ever in Hard Knocks history. Jesse Arnett now trying to climb over, looking for a chokehold. He did have the arm triangle in, but obviously on the wrong side. But now these are vicious elbows raining down on the head of Sue Kampasat. Dangerous position here with those legs up high. Jesse Arnett has to be careful. Sue Kampasat, an excellent practitioner of jujitsu, so you can always have to be careful about leaving an arm in, and Kapasat can get it in just an instant. Jesse Arnett on top now, has Kapasat up against the cage, landing punches, doing damage. Jesse Arnett's been a flurry of motion since he got out, but he might be, Kapasat looking for an arm hold there, but not able to do so. Jesse Arnett dropping everything he's got into those elbows. And Sue Kapasat still defending and still alive. Another huge forearm shiver there. These are some vicious shots, and I know Jesse Arnett trains with Robin Hahn, a fighter we saw on our, our, uh, our undercard, and Robin Hahn landed a vicious elbow that broke an orbital bone and cut open for 10 to 15 stitches. But these are pretty vicious. Perhaps they work on elbows together. Yeah, doing a very good job isolating his opponent up against the cage, looking for the wall walk. Now is Sue Kampasat, but not able to find it. And again, just trying to do what he can to trap Jesse Arnett's leg, not allow that full mount. And now Arnett trapping the arm of Campuset, landing a punch. And you don't see the cuts, but from our vantage point, and you can see it right now on our replay screen, you can see the welts on the head of Suit Campuset. Every time a punch lands, that forearm shiver lands, a new welt comes to the head of Suit Campuset. And these are vicious shots being landed by Jesse Arnett. Jesse Arnett trying to end this fight. Now he's opened up a cut on the head of Sue Kapasat. Kapasat trying to scramble out. Arnett just manhandles him up against the cage and drops another forearm. And that arm triangle position, uh, more, I think, of a rest position because you control him. And look at the blood pooling on the mat here as Jesse Arnett continues to land these big shots from the top. Arnett manhandling Kapasat on the ground. Apologies for the suggestion, he should have stood up earlier. He has done yeoman work here on the ground and now right in front of us here in the cage, he's got Campasat up against the cage and he is dropping bombs. One minute and 20 seconds remains, and lots of time here for Jesse Arnett and he continues to land these shots. Credit to Sue Campasat who is defending these shots, but I don't know how many more he can take before the official will step in with just over a minute remaining. It has been a dominant striking performance here in this round, this ground and pound from Jesse Arnett. Hammer fist now to the back of the head, or the side of the head of Sue Campasat raising another welt. And I can tell you, Jeremy, that was right in front of us and some of the cuts on Campasat's head are pretty big. If this one gets to the round break, Mike Short's gonna have some work to do. Another big elbow. Jesse Arnett has manhandled Sue Kapasat over the last three minutes. Dangerous position there, and one, only one arm was in, but Arnett able to scoop that arm through, and here's some top position punches, and with 30 seconds to go, this is definitely not where Sue Kapasat wants to be. No, and Jesse Arnett doing a good job of getting that one arm out and freeing himself up now on the side. This fight is over. Jesse Arnett with a brutal ground and pound victory.